Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts. Today I'm going to share a video on, weirdly enough, a Halloween project. <laughs> I know it's a little early, but sometimes in crafting we have to do things early. This is a frame, a resin frame, from a frame that I already had and I made a mold of it. Poured it, poured it in resin. This resin is actually a cold cast piece, which is where you take resin and you mix a metal powder with the resin. All right, so it's actually super light. This one in particular was the aluminum powder. And one of the faces <clears throat> that I did in the remolding of a molded face. Alright. So I've got some white clay. And I'm just going to start. By working on this uh, tile here. The ceramic tile. Alright, you can see the frame is kind of small. So I want I want her hair to be kind of wild. Sorry, I'm thinking. <laughs> and as you can see the clay is not at all white. It's got fingerprints, it's got paint off my fingers, it's got all kinds of stuff on it. That's really irrelevant. Alright, and I know it's a little difficult to see the white on the white tile. But just bear with me. This part is only crucial to mounting it on the frame. All right. Because I used um, the Illumilot resin, this piece is bakeable, even with the resin frame. I'm just giving her hair a little shape. Alright, then I'm going to take my knitting needle, toothpick, whatever you've got, and I'm just going to give it a little bit of detail lines. Oh, 
I don't know if I can hear that frog outside. It rained this morning, or last night, or whatever you want to call it. It rained overnight. Still dripping from the trees. I apologize for not having a video last week. We have been really busy with our house. Trying to catch up on some of the stuff that I couldn't get done before. But now that I'm feeling so much better, There's her hair to start with. Alright, then I'm going to take... This part does take some... Uh, some getting used to how to go about, <laughs> go about it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a cut on the clay, trying to follow the shape of her forehead. Alright, and then I'm going to bring it down. Let's see what we got here. Alright, the shape is pretty good. I don't care for the harsh lines, so I'm going to Run my finger down her hair. Now the clay won't want to stick to the resin right away. But as you work with it and manipulate it, it will. All right, then I'm going to take my knitting needle again. All right, here she is out of the oven. And I'm going to... I'm going to antique her first. <laughs> this is all experimental. From me to you. <laughs> I've got some translucent Sculpey. I mean, some translucent Primo Accents rolled out on my thinnest setting on my pasta machine. Which on mine... Is I can't even tell you. Is nine. Alright. So I'm going to antique her first. Again with the watered down. It's deco art product. But it's actually gel stain. Just because it's what I have. I have a black acrylic paint. But it's in a big giant tub. And I don't want to get it out. Alright, so, very watery brush on my glass, very little bit of paint. Alright, now you can see when it's thinned down this much that it wants to resist the the paint well the polymer clay does the resin face really didn't want to but so let's get a little more of the paint 
So you can see when I added a little more paint, it helped it to want to stick better. Alright, and I didn't really intend to do the frame too, but why not? Okay, here she is out of the oven and antiqued. And I really like the way she looks, just like she is. So I'm not going to put the uh, translucent clay on top. I'm just going to leave her just like this. Alright, I really like her. So, thanks so much for watching. Bye now.